Start with Ben Goats from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Hi, Mark. Obviously, the goal isn't always for you guys to lose in the conference finals, but how close do you guys feel like you are to taking that next step and in, in reaching the Stanley Cup final? Yeah, I mean, I do think we're close. Um, you know, I think it's it's very hard to win eight, <clears throat> let alone four of them. Um, you know, I, I think we understand that. <clears throat> I mean, we went seven games in the first round against Minnesota, um, you know, and six games against Colorado, and then six more games against uh, Montreal. Um, you know, we could have lost uh, game seven easily against Minnesota, but I think our group is learning to win uh, different games. Um, <clears throat> I think obviously there's going to be some reflection uh, on the year, uh, kind of as you go uh, throughout this summer and the off season. But um, I do think we're close. I think we're um, now it's about, uh, you know, kind of building that little extra chemistry to uh, get us over the hump. Next question from Mark Stone goes to Vince Sapienza, Channel 5, Las Vegas. Hey, Mark, we, you guys have talked about all season long how close of a group you are. I'm just curious, over the past couple of days, like what are these conversations like with your teammates as, you know, the season comes to an end and you head to the off season? Yeah, I mean, it's never easy getting eliminated. Um, you know, whether you miss the playoffs, make the playoffs, uh, you know, losing the first round, losing the finals, was, losing is not fun. Um, you know, it's disappointing. But uh, like you said, this is a, a group that I, I enjoy coming to the rink with. Um, you know, I can't believe it's over. Uh, you know, it was a shorter season this year. Um, you know, and it, it did kind of feel like a shorter season. Um, when I woke up this morning uh, and I was coming to the rink to, you know, doing an exit medical. It was a lot different feeling than coming to the rink and getting ready to you know, for practice or, or prepare for a game. And, uh, you know, it didn't really feel real. Next, we'll go to Ed Graney at the Las Vegas Review Journal. Mark, I remember talking to you in Ottawa when Pete first came aboard and there was kind of this mystery of how it would work and it happened so quickly, but you've won a ton with him leading you guys and you do seem like you're very close in your own mind. How has it been in that, in that kind of transition over the last few years with him leading you? And do you think you're that close with him? Yeah, I mean, we've been to the conference finals back-to-back um, -back seasons. Him as our coach. Um, you know, I don't think the transition was easy for the first, you know, week or two. Um, but as we started to have more and more success, I think guys uh, bought into uh, what he's preached. We have a group of guys that um, the egos get thrown out the door uh, when you walk in, and uh, you know, we play, uh, we play to win, um, you know, every night. So. Uh, I think obviously uh, we're going to have to look at what we uh, can do better. Uh, I think the only team, uh, you know, that can say that they uh, are happy uh, is the team that, that wins. Um, you know, we didn't win, so uh, we're going to have to uh, look back and, and see what we can improve on. Uh, you know, I think uh, our system is, is there. I think we... <clears throat> We were great in our D zone all year. You know, we scored goals all year, um, but uh, just couldn't get couldn't get the job done uh, again in the same spot. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll be back. Um, you know, we really like where this team is, and uh, we'll find ways to improve it. I'll take two final questions from Mark. Next one goes to Chris Matthews, Channel Eight, Las Vegas. Mark, I wonder if I'm going to ask you kind of about this season. It seemed like seemingly you guys were playing every other day. It seemed like just that condensed schedule. And and now looking ahead, um, where you're playing a normal schedule, hopefully, and everything is kind of back to normal with the NHL and you have the, the days and the breaks and you're getting teams from the East and you're going back and playing all these teams. And and just that camaraderie I among among all you players, I assume, that, that you've missed this year with seeing old friends in different cities, just kind of, for you personally, the excitement of maybe getting back to normal and having a normal schedule and all that. Yeah, I mean, that's the goal, right? Um, I don't think it's just our league that wants to get back to normal. There's other leagues that are affected as well, but um, I, I, you're bang on. I, I love playing in different buildings. And, you, know, you know, I love going out east and, and playing in Boston Garden. You know, going out and playing in Madison Square Garden, <clears throat> you know, I'd love to see you know, 
Toronto back full, uh, the Canadian cities. I'd love for them to, uh, to be able to go back and play in Vancouver, play in Calgary, or, you know, play in my hometown in Winnipeg. Um, I think we missed that this year. Um, it was difficult to, to kind of just play the same teams over and over again. Um, we were fortunate to be able to do it, um, you know, get this season in. But, uh, you know, we want to play 82 games in a regular season, um, you know, go out and, and then play all the Eastern teams. You know, uh, hopefully our fans can get to see, uh, you know, Sidney Crosby, Connor McDavid, uh, get to see those teams uh, come in and, and play us. And, and yeah, for sure. I, mean, I got a lot of friends around the league and played with a lot of different guys. Um, you know, it's fun to, uh, to kind of have those dinners and on the road. And, uh, and we were locked up a lot uh, in, in our hotel rooms, uh, but uh, I would never um, <clears throat> uh, uh, make an excuse. Uh, we got to do uh, what we love, which is, is, is play hockey. Um, you know, we got to hang out as a team uh, uh, for the majority of the season and have that camaraderie. So, um, <clears throat> but like you said, I definitely want to get back to home. Last question today for Mark Stone comes from Danny Webster, NHL.com. Hey, Mark, the last two and a half seasons for you, I feel like it seems like a long time, but at the same time, it's probably been a blur getting adjusted to a new city, new environment, and then the contract and being named the captain and to kind of lead this team over the last two years. What, what's been the biggest thing you've learned as far as like a mental standpoint over two postseasons that have kind of been really mentally taxing? Yeah, they were, it has been difficult. I mean, obviously last year was, it was very mentally difficult. Um, you know, not getting to play in front of fans, um, you know, being in the bubble. Uh, it was hard for sure. Not being able to see family and friends uh, for an extended period of time. But um, I think this year was obviously different circumstances, but I think um, it started to, to feel more normal. Uh, you know, getting our 18,000 in T-Mobile was uh, uh so exciting. Um, there's so many positives that we can take from the season. Obviously, it's hard to, um, to, to feel that right now, I guess. But um, I think as a team, um, you go through these, these hurdles. And um, I'm glad that uh, uh, this is where I am. This is glad, I'm glad that um, I made this <laughs> decision, I guess, uh, uh, to come to Las Vegas. And, and sign for an extended period of time. Uh, you know, I feel like the, the possibilities are endless for this organization. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, we've been fortunate. You know, our teams getting to Stanley Cup finals in the first year, two more conference finals. Uh, we can't take step, can't take a step back. We can't, um, you know, take things for granted. Uh, there's so many teams out there that would love to be in our situation. Um, and they're trying uh, to fight, uh, uh, fight hard to get in our situation. So um, I'm excited for next year. Um, I know that uh, they're going to do everything they can to make this team better. Uh, I think everybody in that room is going to do everything they can to make, uh, make us improve as a team. Thanks, Mark. Thank you, guys. Thanks for the year.